You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. I have Sarah from Family and Community Resources, which I always tend to want to sneak the word Brockton in there, but you're in Brockton, so <laughs> it doesn't matter what the abbreviation is or what the acronym is. Um, you are doing an event on one of my favorite days of the year, yes. Cinco de Mayo. Okay? We are, yes. Um, and it has a Cinco de Mayo theme, mm -hmm. celebration of women. Correct. You're going to honor different women, and it's going to benefit family and community resources. Yes. Tell us about it. Sure. So this is actually the second year we're doing this event. Um, we're hoping to kind of continue it as an annual event because it was so successful last year. Um, so it's going to be on May 5th, which is a Friday, and from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. at Thorny Lee Golf Club. Um, like you said, we're going to be honoring three women. That's kind of the main purpose of the event, as well as being a fundraiser, of course. Uh, so this year we have three honorees who are three amazing women who are just doing so much in our community, so we're thrilled to be able to have them. Um, the first one is Monique Aleman from Good Samaritan Medical Center. Um, she's the VP of the Women's Health Services and Physician Relations, so we're thrilled to have her. We also have Linnell Silva Cox, who is the founder of Hand Delivered Hope, which is a program um, that does some advocacy and they deliver services to homeless and active addicted um, individuals throughout mm -hmm. Boston and the greater area. And then lastly, um, Officer Fonts from Brockton Police Department, who has been so amazing and helpful with FCR. You know, she's from Cape Verde, she speaks the language, she's really embracing her job as the community resource officer and building relationships in the community and helping us with some of our clients. So, you know, we're thrilled to recognize her as well. I know all three of them. Good. I knew Linnell when she was very involved in the Downtown Brockton Association when they, she had an active business down mm -hmm. there. And what she does to help people is absolutely second yeah, to it's, none. Yeah, it's really amazing. Monique, her whole family, I know the whole family. Her mother was my brother's Spanish teacher. Well, and her father was the treasurer of this organization for 13 years. Wonderful. Cesar Alamon, wonderful, wonderful family, as is Monique. Yes. And then Officer Fonts, what, what can you say? I know. Okay, a, 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 a new person that has an embrace the community as they've embraced her. Mm -hmm. She's there in times of trauma and right. there to comfort people. Absolutely. And also uh, the diversity of the police force to represent the diversity of its citizens sure. in Brockton is, is wonderful. Yeah. She's really um, just jumped right into so the position. Every, how would people find, you know, get tickets? Do you have a website? Sure. Do you have a link? Do you Absolutely. have a phone number? All of that good we stuff. We have all that stuff. So. You can buy tickets online, so you can buy them on our website, which is www.fcr-ma.org. Mm -hmm. um, right on the homepage, there's a link to buy the tickets. Individual tickets are $50 each. Um, you also, there are some opportunities for sponsorships. If there are um, you know, individuals or businesses who want to have some recognition as a sponsor, that's fantastic. We have... Some awesome sponsors already. We have In Good Health as our presenting sponsor, um, the Prone Family Foundation, Good Samaritan is supporting, you know, of course with Monique, Jaten Hotel Management, Harbor One Bank. So a lot of people in the community showing their support. Um, so again, you can buy the tickets online or you can call our office. Our number is 508-583-6498 and ask for myself, Sarah Wallachie, or Joanne Hoops in development. And yeah. I just saw Joanne the other day. Did I was you? at a rotary function. She's, I think she's a, she's either an outgoing or an incoming president again. She was in the Brockton Rotary with. Oh me yes, I know she's involved in years ago. In I saw her Newport, Saturday yeah. at our uh, at, at our it's it's, uh, it's the district assembly. It's oh called. nice. But she's been a development person all over. Brockton. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So you're she's, lucky to have her oh, too. Oh yeah, I'm thrilled to work under her. She's really wonderful. Um, so couldn't be better. Couldn't be easier to remember. Cinco de Mayo celebration of women. Yes. So you can get your dinner and get your margaritas get your Mexican at food. the same time and help a good cause. That's right. We'll have a silent auction. Uh, we're going to have a live auction. We're auctioning off a week in St. Thomas and two safari trips to Africa. Hmm. A lot of other stuff for the silent auction. We have some local women coming to do um, traditional skirt dancing. It should be a lot of fun. Okay, and you do. You told me you have a survivor that's coming we to do, talk to. We do, we do. So we can, have the three honorees and then is the survivor. Can you tell us, or is that hush-hush? No, sure. Um, okay. So she's, she's wonderful. She's um, a survivor, as you said, and she's someone who's continued with services at our organization and our women's support group. And, you know, she's really working on giving back to our organization and those in the community. So she's going to come and speak and really shed some light on 
some of the forms of abuse that don't necessarily get talked about as often, um, the emotional abuse and the financial abuse. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's something that she's really passionate about. She was, you know, in her 40s when she accessed family and community resources and even realized that she was in an abusive relationship for all those years. So she's really passionate about educating, getting out there and letting people, you know, know about what abuse can look like in all the different forms mm -hmm. so that you can, you know, know whether or not you're in a healthy relationship before it gets out of control. Now you have a great staff, mm -hmm. but you're supplemented with volunteers. I know your board of directors are volunteers. They are. I've known a lot of people that have been on your board of directors. Yeah. Some of them, unfortunately, who are no longer with us, like Wayne McAllister, who's my colleague on Southeastern. That was his one of his passions. He was yeah, we very, very, happen. very involved for years. And I know every year you do another event, and he there's a community there's a, service, a community award. service yeah. award named after him. Yes. I finally got him an award this year. Good at for the you. Mass Association of School Committees. Well, I had to wait till he wasn't with us anymore because Wayne wasn't about awards. Wayne mm -hmm. was about helping people and serving. Well, now community. we can recognize him more. We than wanted ever. to get him a lifetime award for his service on the Southeastern School Committee. And Great. there's a lot of other awards he could have had, but yeah. Wayne was not one for awards. He liked to give awards. Mm -hmm. He didn't necessarily like to get awards. I probably might have been deceased had I got him an award <laughs> when he was alive, so I didn't go down that path. Well, that was a good choice. But, um, yeah, so we were always looking for volunteers, as you said. Our boards are volunteers, um, and we do have a supervised visitation center in Brockton, and you know we have the kiddos coming in to do supervised visitation with their parents who may not have custody of them at the time, and so we always have volunteers come in to monitor the visits and you know, be there with the kids. We also hold, you know, women's support groups, like I mentioned, um, that that one survivor is very involved with. And so sometimes the women have trouble getting there because they don't have childcare for their kids. So we have people come in and, you know, do activities with the children while we meet with the moms. And, you know, there's a number of ways and you can always get involved with development with me and Joanne. <laughs> there you go. So you, you just need help all around. It's a, yeah. it's a, it, you're not a lot, you're, you serve a large area, but we do. you're not a large organization. Right. We can always use help. So. Okay. So there's a place to go to volunteer. Sure. So just to recap again, mm -hmm. Friday, May 5th, we're already talking May, yep. Cinco de Mayo fundraiser, Thorny Lee Country Club, 530 to 830, honoring three great women, listening to stories of hope mm -hmm. and helping a That's good cause. a great cause. way to put it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you for being here. Thanks and, so much. And we'll, uh, we'll follow you, and, uh, but you got to go. All right. Okay? All righty. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.